Moving. Covering. Moving. I think that's enough. Yep. Uh, one small note on that is that Rambo moved before uh, Zez was covering and firing, so you just need to take your yeah. time and, and make sure you get your covered before you move anyway. Yeah. Right. Another date when you're doing this with, this with live rounds is that um, eventually you'll have to reload. So if you hear your buddy reloading at any time, uh, then you, then you just straight away go down the floor and stop moving until he's loaded. Yep. Okay, that's good. Um, I think what we should do next, let's see here. Section family probably. You think so? Alright, let's do section Unless family. Unless you want to do group first. Um. Uh, yeah, let's 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 start with the small. Yeah, let's start with the group. Let's start with the small stuff. Uh, and in case we're gonna actually do, uh, let's do it like. Uh, let's do it group, but let's do it one uh, one group only. That way, you kind of separate it. Let's you see, can do. Just yeah, and you four can't players. Be you know? it. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do uh, second uh, second group. We're gonna have you guys do the same thing, uh, just basically four people, and there's gonna be two people moving at the same time. So, and I think the people that uh, call out the covering moving are only the senior uh, leader. So it's gonna be one uh, Bravo and one Alpha. That's um, Jenner and uh, Herbie. Herbie and Stefan, can you get ready? Stuff. I think Herbie is AFK. Jenner, you in the game? Yeah, I'm back. I'm right here. Okay. All right, we'll do we'll do it differently. We'll do uh, reddish, and um, we're gonna to do two group. Okay, group two. Group two, yeah. So let's group get group two. Form aligned, facing one nine zero. Yeah, orient on Rambo. Yeah, orient with me, guys. One nine zero. So the formation is gonna be like this. It's gonna be reddish, his guy, then me, then Zez. Says you on the other end. Yeah. So same same order of march as we would with not with line normally. Gentlemen, move to the right. And reddish, you on the left. Yeah, reddish, you should be on the road almost. Your guy between Zez and you, uh, between me and uh, you, Zez on my right. Oh. Okay. That, I mean, I, exactly. Well, reddish, right. reddish on the left. Yeah, reddish is on the left. Uh, reddish is on the left because he's a senior guy. Okay, so basically what we're gonna happen is the senior element is gonna move. That's a delta. That's us, me and Zess. And then, so I'm gonna call it out the same way. I'm gonna call out moving, and reddish you're gonna call covering. And then you're next. You got it? Prime watching. Okay. Okay. Yep, as soon as I say moving, you're coming with me. Okay, group two, right. bearing 190, bounding, group, group, group. Move it. Covering. Covering. Bounding, moving. Bang, 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 bang. You should come on. Covering. Moving. Watch your cover spacing on the left. Moving. Moving. Covering. Alright. That's fine. That's it. I mean, that's basically it. So. When you when you're using your larger groups, larger bounds, um, it helps to to use some call signs and fire team names to make it clear. Like uh, like how. Parting Charlie. Just uh, yeah, Delta Delta covering Charlie. So moving, two del Delta moving or two Delta. Just just say Charlie or Delta. Yeah. Because there's only one Charlie and one Delta, so.
Kassa is also AFK. We're two, we're Q. Just to see. I'm back. For some reason, TS uh, yeah. crashing. Mjolnir, get your, get your assault group formed up in line, facing 190. Copy. Okay, Kassa, let's go. Bravo as well. Worth the worth left of that. So, the way it works is you have Bravo on the left, Alpha on the right. And then you got Senior, Junior, Senior, Junior. Um, say, yeah, actually, this one's slightly different. It goes senior, junior, junior, senior. Oh, really? But you only need to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Really yeah, he's right. Senior, junior, junior, a senior. Okay, so Fireteam Alpha moves first because they're senior, and then Fireteam Bravo covers. Group 1, bounding, axis advance, 190. Group, group, group. Covering. Bravo covering. Moving. Covering. Alpha going. Bang bang bang. Bang bang bang. Alpha bang bang bang. Covering. Moving. Covering. Bang bang bang. Alpha Obviously here the machine gunner would be calling out um, most loudly because he's the, the, the senior. Moving. Yeah. But Yaxa's not here. Yeah. Covering. Bang, bang, bang. That's basically it, yeah. Alright, good. So now we're gonna add these together. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna do it, everyone. Basically, this is gonna be uh, group bounding, I believe it's called. Yep. Mm, well, no. It's it's group. No, no, look. Basically, what so we're, we're doing, doing the separate stuff, we're gonna do it at the same time. Okay. Oh, so wow. it's still group, 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 but with the whole section. Alright. Oh, <laughs> so, so you think this is retarded? You don't think this is retarded? Alright, well, Keep it's the space basic training, tight. I mean. Yeah. So, so, I'm not expecting that we're gonna do this. Uh, when we get on the server, but if we do a little bit of it, I'm happy. Okay, one section bearing 190, bounding, group, group, group. Alpha going. Moving. Covering. 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 Moving. Bang, bang. Covering. Bang, bang, bang. Alpha going. Bang, bang, moving. Bang. bang, bang, bang. Delta moving. Bang, bang, bang. Delta covering. Bang bang bang. Moving. Casa, watch your spacing. You're shifting left. I'll, I'll covering. Delta moving. Delta covering. Ah, uh, right. This is good. I think this is good. Alright, uh, this is that. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing. Let's get back in the line. We, except we're gonna do uh, section bounding, which is one section, then two section. No, it's one group and then two group. I mean, one group and two group. My bad. I'm gonna point out when you're making mistakes, just so that you, yeah, you should, notice yeah, it. You and, should. Yeah. In fact, yeah, definitely. So this is easier. I mean, this should be a lot easier than that. Okay, so. What's good here? What's good here is for the for the tip, the group leaders to call out um, group group one move and then group group one moving and covering. Yeah. So that they organize their group. So only people that are gonna be calling is me and uh, me and me on there exactly. So but the individuals can still say moving and that's just true. Yeah. They can confirm exactly do do the telephone game. So uh, senior uh, section moves first and that's it. Okay. Senior group. Uh, group, yeah. Okay, one group, one section bearing one nine zero bounding section section section. First section, go go. go. Two covering. Uh, now that everyone's moving. What the hell? Fail. Fail. Okay, bring it back. Okay, Alpha and Bravo team need to move to the second. Jelner, Casa, Yaxa. And Herbie, so yeah, those people. 
close down the you and me. Um, okay. Ready? Ready? Okay, first section, bounding. Oh, no, have a, have a. It's not a big deal. Okay, this is fine. Yeah, this is good. Two covering. Covering. First section. No, uh, one covering. <laughs> Two moving. Bang, bang, bang. Two covering. One section going. One great river. Moving. Oh, group one. Moving. Group one set. Covering. Two moving. Two covering. Moving. Moving. Covering. Two moving. Okay, group uh, leaders call covering. out. Group leaders can call out, move, and cover to, to instruct their own group. I think this is good. Uh, it's pretty I mean, good. It's not 100%, but you got just. So that's the that's the uh, group move uh, bounding. Now we have to do. Uh, we have to do team bounding, and we're pretty much uh, done with the bounding. So for team bounding, uh, we'll do we'll do uh, one one group at a time first. So let's have one. Uh, uh, We've one already done one at a time. Why don't we just do it all? Well, it's again. We did the uh, one at a time bounding in terms of the. Well, this is the hard. Yeah. This is the hardest, kind of. So, yeah. if you guys want to do it at the same time, that's fine. We didn't do it as a section. So. Um, if you want to do it at the same time, that's fine. Exactly. No, Sam. This is going to be easier because other people are going to be uh, seeing what's going on. So I think both groups are going to see each other, and it's going to be easier. Hey, Stephen. Hey. I mean, Stephen Herbie's back. Yeah. I see. Either way. Okay. Form line. All right. Cool. We'll do it this way. So we're going to go all at once? Yeah, sure, I guess. One okay. section, axis of advance, 190, bounding, team, team, team. Go, go, go. Moving. moving. Uh, Delta moving. Covering. You don't really call out. Covering. I haven't done this. Cool. Hey, Herbie, you, you cover. You guys are doing Covering. it, so. Moving. Moving. I mean, basically, what's happening is kind of right. Covering. Covering. Run, you son of a bitch. Covering. Bang. Moving. We're moving. Covering. Bang. 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 Covering. Covering. Moving. I think that's enough. Bang. Bang. Covering. Uh, what you can notice is that in this one. You can really quickly individual uh, people can get ahead, <laughs> so you kind of have to look at your shack. Like you have to look left and right and stuff like that. Mm. Uh, that <coughs> pretty much it as far as when um, I was asleep Rambo? or not asleep. Yeah. Uh, in this uh, part, was I supposed to be moving with my body or in succession? Uh, in succession. All oh, right, then we did it right. Okay. So, so senior, senior, your senior, moves, senior, your senior, and then junior, 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 junior. Basically, you. Yeah, Herbie, perfect. <laughs> and vice versa. Uh, you should talk about it. Yeah. Okay. So I... Well, basically, when you when you're using moving in larger groups, it's it's easier to organize and you, you keep better order, and and that's used when you're when you're further away because it, it's just simpler to use generally. And then the, sm uh, the smaller groups are used because it gives you it's, it gives you better cover of each other in, in close terrain where, where the other group might not be able to cover you if they're like 50 meters away and you've got lots of spacing. And it's also used when you're close to the enemy because an individual moving one at a time is less vulnerable than the whole group moving it, moving together. So that's basically it. Too uh, easy? I mean, all this shit is easy as I said. It's just executing it and actually using it on the server. I mean, uh, that's another thing. Yeah. The other thing uh, that, and obviously, you know, you might be like, well, how much useful is this? Do actually AI gonna react to it? It's gonna save our lives, whatever. You know, they it's good. It. Exactly. So, I mean, until we're gonna use it and try it, uh, we're not gonna know. So, we have to just basically use it. And the basis, the reason I asked you what you wanna do with this is because, as I said, 
you kind of are forced to play on the server in this these, this group because we have been in the training and that's it. Okay. So. Uh, send for the other stuff that was uh, the beta was going on. I mean, about uh, I was there, but I was really sleepy, so I really can't go over it. Okay, you want me to do active contact then? Yeah. Alright, so um, you're walking along, probably in a wedge, maybe. And you take fire from somewhere. And then I've kind of created a short list of what you do. Firstly, you call out contact, you give a short, uh, a short indication of contact. And you use the format GRIT, which is group, indication, uh, no, group, range to target, indication, and then type of fire, which you can ignore. So it would be... Uh, hey, I got a... I got a suggestion, sorry I uh, interrupted you there. Let's yep. make this as practical as possible. So let's try yep. to be going down in, I don't know, what, the wedge? I mean, wedge, uh, what is uh, the Arrowhead. Expression? Arrowhead. By the way, By these the way, names, uh, this is going to take some time to get in the thing, so it's not a big deal if, as long as we know what we're talking about, it's okay, I guess. Uh, but yeah. What would you say, arrowhead? That we're moving in an arrowhead, and we're moving okay, towards south. Okay, arrowhead facing west. Facing west, arrowhead. I'm Bravo so, lead, so I should be on the left side in the like tip. Model. Yep. Okay. My shock tech's kind of broken. I don't have it enabled either. <laughs> hey, whoever this is, what you? You know where you're supposed to be in the relay. <laughs> Which has problems. Return fire, take cover, okay. appropriate fire. Contact okay, reddish. See the blue barrel? Uh, 310. Yeah. Okay, so um, you call, you could say contact, and then range to target, so that's about 300 meters, say. And then uh, what it is? Uh, actually, I don't know. No, it's direction. So it's uh, yeah. You, you say re say contact range, then direction. Just you give a quick direction. Say front, front, right, or you can use clocks if that's if that suits you. Um, so in so range, direction, and then type of target. And then everyone's gonna you're gonna say that in direct, and everyone's gonna pass it down. Contact three one zero trucks three hundred meters one time machine gun. Pass it down, guys. I'm blowing my plugin. If you don't pass it down, then I can't hear you. Can you say it again? Okay, say that again and it. Contact 310, approximately 300 meters, machine gunner. Okay, um, first point is the range and then direction, so you'd say... Yeah, so range and then direction, and then uh, direction. Is direction not working for any of you? Or is it just building it? It is working, it's just... Yeah, it is a bit like that. Okay, so the emphasis of this contact report is just to be very quick, just giving people a rough direction. So, so don't bother with compass. Just say, say front or right or one one o'clock. Something like something very quick, because all the time you're getting shot at, and you've got to tell people just to, to react uh, to immediately react react to contact, and then you can worry about exactly where it is later. Casa. Cassie yeah. here. I think people. I'm going to give you a minute to do what you're doing in TeamSpeak. Uh, 
Um, well, reaction to contact and then live fire of bounding is kind of essential. Um, um, yeah, you need to know the practice really. And then, and then we can do, we can do a full section assault if you want to. But that's not. We didn't. We didn't kind of finish that. If we, if we, I'll give you just a verbal walkthrough of section of section attack, and then we can do some live fire and call it that. I'm just waiting for people to finish fucking with the team speak. Oh, should we continue? Okay. Uh, Herbie. Yep. There's a contact by those walls over there to the west. Um, an infantry section. I want you to call out a quick contact report. Emphasis on quick. And then pass it along the okay. line, guys. Okay, want me to do that now? Yep. Contact! Um, slightly left. Enemy infantry section by the low walls. Approximately 200 meters. Okay, no one's passing the contact report on. <laughs> I don't hear anything. Oh, yeah, you don't hear anything? Um, contact, slightly left. Um, contact, what was it, 260? Uh, 260, uh, enemy infantry section, by the wall. Contact, 260, enemy infantry section, by the wall. Contact, 260, enemy infantry section, by the wall. Says, do you want to give us a contact report? Contact report. We're fucked. You can shot him that even if you want. Yep. Okay, so, so after you've called out a contact report, or even while you're calling a contact report, um, next thing you do is to fire, to fire a couple of rounds at the target. So this is where situation awareness comes in. If you've got suspected enemy positions in mind and you hear a contact front, then you can fire a couple of rounds at those suspected positions. Or if you know where they are, then you can fire a couple of rounds. Next, uh, immediate cover. So you, you go prone or you look for some cover that's very close to you and, and just so you don't get killed instantly. Then you try to identify where the target is more accurately so that it, you can work out uh, you know, a bearing. This is where you look at bearings and detailed reports of the enemies and, and you, you, know, you can give more, more detailed contact reports and then pass that along the line so everyone knows where the contact is, what direction it is. And then you're forming a line facing that contact and then you can begin an assault. So, report, fire, go immediate cover, and then work out where they are and get in a line facing that direction. Um, okay, so we'll use the blue barrel as an example, which is front right, but just pretend you don't know that. Yeah, well, we'll call it out. Okay, so Casa. 
give us a quick contract report, contact report front, and then um, then you're going to work. Then you're going to identify the blue barrel and call out a bearing and pass it on the line, and then you're going to form a form a line facing that barrel. So you're going to quick contract report, fire, go prone, identify the barrel, and then form a line facing it. Casa takes out. Just uh, make up a, con a quick contact report, contact front report. You, let's say you don't know what it is, so it's just contact front okay. or okay. contact 200 meters front. Contact 200 meters to ACL, uh, enemy infantry by the tree line. Contact uh, 200 meters to 80, enemy infantry by the tree line. Cassie, you need to shoot, take cover. Oh, yeah. Okay, now you should be identifying exactly where the conduct is, and the uh, squad leader should be passing along. Pass it on. Return enemy barrel. Contact three ten enemy barrel. Contact three ten enemy barrel. Okay, and squad leader is passing on the order to get online facing three ten. So now you use short bounds to, to get onto a line facing three ten. So the people on the left need to push forward. Moving. Moving. Set. Okay. And out. And then from this point, uh, you win the firefight. So you shoot the enemy until they're not shooting back. Basically, you press them and kill them. And then, and then when you've won the firefight, when they're not shooting back, then you can begin the section of assault, which is where you start bounding forward. So the squad leader would say bounding section, 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 which you can do if you want, but we'll probably skip that. Um, if you want, we can we can do this in full. We can do an advanced contact, react contact, and then section bounding on a on an actual range. Magazine. We'll go to a range. Okay. If you want to come back to the road and facing east, there's a range which is the the red tape. Okay, I just want to emphasize that initial contact report should be just very, very quick. So just general direction only when you're looking at your compass for the first contact report, guys. Okay, so let's just make a line facing 100 on this red tape on the, on the barriers in front of you. Oh, this is going to be good because we're basically putting everything together. Oh, hey, let's do this. Let's, let's, uh, exactly. oh, hi there, Stephen. Yeah. Hi. You're on my left, dude. I know. Well, you're not at the moment, but you know. Well, there's going to be an actual... I'll just explain how this range works, is that you're going to walk forwards and actual contacts are going to pop up. And then, yep. Yeah, and then they're going to keep popping back up as you shoot them until you get up, until you basically you reach them, and then they'll stay down. So that's at the end of the, end of the range. Is there a chance of getting any more ammo? Because I've only got two magazines. Hey, Chandler, are you going to hear me like this right now? Let's do for the sake of simplicity. Let's say you see the contact first. Look behind you, Herbie. Mm -hmm. Look squad, behind you. Gonna uh -huh. Now let's just make sure, let's just So, uh, you know, you're gonna say one, uh, moving and two's gonna cover and we're just gonna kill it. That's cool. Good for me. It's fine just for whoever sees it to call it out, um, as you would when it pops up. Okay, so Mel unit, if you want to take your squad over the tape and then form up in a formation ready to start moving, and then sometime, somewhere in the field, your contacts will pop up and you can just react to contact and then bound toward. Line formation at work. Not the tape. Remember to pass the messages down because Zez just said he can't hear anyone. Uh, Refill on the line. Remember to pass messages down. Do you know how much you need? So it's basically you always give one version. Okay, keep in your mind suspected enemy positions where they could be so that when you get contact you can immediately fire at those suspected positions. I suspect they're going to be where the big red targets are. Contact facing 130. 
Okay. The barrel is not a context. The barrel is not a context. Please fire. Continue moving until you see actual targets. First section, bound forward. No, no, just, just, no, just normal Don't movement, guys. Normal movement. We have not had a contact yet. There will be a yeah, red target that you will see. Be, uh, Information more. My information at the wall. Moving. Covering. Moving. Covering. Moving. Covering. 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 When you're in grenade range, then you can shoot grenades and, and just cease fire. Moving. Covering. Covering. Contacts down, cease fire. <laughs> you wanted to buy a net then? Now. Yeah, very rough, but you get the general idea. Um, how this would work is, is uh, firstly, as you move across, the, move to the target, you start by doing section, 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 and I want to hear that, that command from the squad leader when you're doing it, and then you move to group, 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 and you move to team, team, team. In this case, it was a very close contact. You could have done team, team straight away, and then when you get to about 50 meters away, um, you'll send a fire team. So you'll send, for example, Charlie fire team forward to assault and clear the position, and then the rest of the section just covers from like 50 meters back. Rank up. Hey, I would say that uh, first training, this is enough. I don't want to uh, kill anyone's time here. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is put everything that we kind of learned here on YouTube. So it's going to be accessible to anyone that would enter this uh, whole training thing. Uh, but from now on, we just basically have to practice this and just, you know, basically put it in fluid motion, that's it. Yeah, well, I'm sure when you, when, if you do it with beta, he'll give you some slight adjustments and stuff that I forgot. But, um, yeah, you could use some practice on this, so when it, you know, next training, if you want to do that, you can just pick this up and, and continue from here. Yeah. Well, let's that's do pretty easy mode. being a fire team leader. Uh, now let's do a vote. If you want to do another one of these, uh, type 1. If you don't, type 0. And we'll call it. Or just abstain, whatever. We'll see in a 0. I'm actually kind of good as well, so... Guess we're gonna, uh, we're gonna call it like this. Look at the material shit. We're gonna try to come up with some new uh, stuff for the next training, and that's it. As I said, I, I really wanted to get a YouTube stuff uh, going on, but I didn't have the time. So. Okay, I'm gonna answer Cass's question. Um, if any time when you're bounding towards the contact on the section of cell and you begin taking fire again, then what you do is you stop bounding immediately, form line, and you, you engage contacts and win the firefight again. So you fire until they stop firing. Obviously, if you can't win the firefight. I'm talking about like. like while while we engage one contact, let's say it's uh, 140 degrees, uh, one of the team members spots another contact, which is like to our far left, like, I don't know, 440 four degrees, um, he would like really flank us, so what's the reaction yeah. to that? Well, um, yeah, so whether it's the original contact or a new contact firing at you, either way you stop and engage in which way is best, you may have to, you know, form a line, or you may want to, you know, have different fire teams covering each other, and that's up to the squad leader. But basically, you stop, you engage the target, you do your normal co reaction to contact drill, and you, and you and you win the firefight. You don't advance until until they're not shooting back anymore. Which 
Uh, let's go and team speak real quick. I want to show you guys something.